welcome back time with the Limers. I'm Papi Lime. And this is DJ, DJ Lime. That's right. Guess what we're doing today? We're going to make DJ's costume for Halloween. Ba -ba -ba -ba. And guess what? It's going to be any hits? No? No? Nobody? Tell them, DJ. Piranha Plant. Piranha Plant. If you get the hint, it's on my hat right here. This little guy. And if you can't see that, here's an example. Okay, perfect. Let's get started. Be -whoop. Okay, to start, we need the ingredients. DJ, what do we need? Scissors. That's right. A cutting tool. A cutting mat. A pen to draw. Yeah, a pen or marker to draw on the fabric. And speaking of fabric, we have white fabric. Green fabric. Green fabric. Red, red fabric. Green fabric. Green fabric. And last but not least, the piece of resistance is plenty of foam and we got this one at the store at Hobby Lobby so total for this project we spent like probably 25 bucks boom oh yeah and one last item that you probably don't need to spend is a green shirt because that's going to be your body so I kind of already pre-cut some of our shapes because it all depends on the size of the head of the kid that you have and also the size of the body of the kid you have so I don't really have a template for you but if you need one just let me know in the comments below and I'll send it right to you you're going to cut a rectangular shape like this and you're going to make it into a circular cylinder like this. You're going to glue it at the seams. And we're using hot glue. And I'm using a strip just like this for the rim. So if you're curious what I mean by rim, it's this top part for the pipe, okay? And you're like, oh, but it's not green. That's where the fabric comes in. So you cut out the same shape of the fabric. Make sure you get a, like at least an inch and a half extra bigger than the shape of your foam because you're going to glue this to it and you want it to overlap a little bit in case, you know, you mess up or something like that. Oh, and while I'm gluing the pipe, DJ is going to help me make circles for the Piranha Pants head. But DJ here, he's a pro at scissors, so he's going to use those for now. Right, DJ? Yeah! That's right. Do not do this without adult supervision. Okay, so you can see it already is taking form. This is the pipe that the piranha plant comes out. Here's the body, which is the green shirt, and here's the head with the teeth. But this is not the real head, of course. This is the DJ head. Let's go ahead and make our head. Okay, so for the head, this one was a little bit tricky because we're making a round head out of flat foam. DJ right now has the shape that kind of looks like a snowman like this, where I got the idea was, you know, like the globe, the earth? You know, when you have a globe in your classroom or something like that, if you were to break it up hard, it would kind of look like this, not exactly with the hole, but in this case, we're turning it this way. This is going to be the top part of our head, and this is going to be the bottom. Ta-da! So you can kind of already see it forming, but then we're going to glue these sides together. Like is that, that the plant that eats bugs? Mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. Okay, this is what the head is looking like already glued together. Notice that there's a triangular seam right here. And yes, the, super, the hot glue does not glue very well, but once you put the fabric on it and overlap it, that should hold it in place. Ta-da! Check it out, it's looking pretty good. Next steps, we're gonna get our tube and put the fabric on it. We made the pipe, you can see we hot glued it. I didn't have that much hot glue, but we will make it work. Yeah. <laughs> Piranha plant base check. We glued the head fabric too. Put it on the set, make sure it fits. Ta-da! Look at that, it's looking pretty good. Look to the left and look to the right. Oh yeah, now we need to glue the spots and the T. Okay, so I'm finishing cutting up these last circles right here for the head that I believe is coming out pretty good. Okay, so there's usually a rim around the mouth that's white. If you have some extra white fabric, you know, just cut a piece and wrap the rim. And then after that, with our scraps, we're gonna cut some teeth. Got some strips of white, we're gonna glue that to it. So far I've only used hot glue, and man, sometimes it burns, so be very careful. Okay, so I think I have enough teeth right here. 
Let's start gluing the rim and the teeth in and make this thing look awesome! Top rim done. Now it's time to do the bottom one and get ready for the teeth. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, but he has no dentures. Let's start gluing these teeth just like that. Space them out evenly, top and bottom. Hey, time with the Limers. Look at this thing. This thing is awesome. All right, check out the head. The head, yeah. Yeah, try it on, DJ. Oh. That's pretty sweet. Okay, so I think that's everything. It's time for the big reveal. I hope you're ready. But before we do, make sure you do this five second challenge. You have to like, subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, done. All right, let's get to the reveal. <laughs> it's me, Bowser. Piranha Plant, come. <laughs> We're gonna go get Mario. Are you ready, Piranha Plant? Show me your powers. That's all you do? How are we ever gonna get Mario? Oh, but I think I found the princess. Ah, I stole the princess. <laughs> so check it out. This costume is super cool. I can't believe I had made it myself. Let me know in the comments below if you think it's awesome as well. And if you need instructions, we can send it to you for the templates. All right, other than that, thanks for joining us on Time with the Limes. I'm Bowser Lime, and this is Piranha Plant Lime, and we will see you when, Piranha? Next time. Next time. See you later. Hey, you made it this far. Thank you so much. Make sure you subscribe with the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when we upload our next video. Goodbye.